Jerusalem and the people aboard. Israel's answer comes on the afternoon of May 9th. Israeli soldiers, disguised as maintenance men, approach the hijacked plane, ostensibly to fix its damaged wheel. Then, in a lightning-swift operation, they board the plane, kill two of the terrorists on the spot, wound a third, and take the fourth captive. The whole thing is over in a matter of minutes. Ambulances and fire trucks rush to the scene. The passengers, who have endured their 21-hour ordeal with exemplary courage, are helped from the plane. Among them is a six-year-old girl. Among the first to board the plane after the successful action are Defense Minister Moshe Dayan, Chief of Staff General David El Azar, and Transport Minister Shimon Peres. Captain Reginald Levy, the brave skipper of the hijacked plane, tells his story to reporters at the field. And he would soon see. המחבלים ירו, והקרב, כפי שאתם יודעים, הסתיים בהצלחה. אני משוכנע שלא יכולנו להרשות את חרפת החטיפות על אדמת ישראל. ולו כולם נהגו כמונו, ואם כולם ינהגו כמונו, החרפה הזאת תיפקש. 